Peace and blessings. It's real. Uh, first and foremost, uh, before we get into this word, uh, we must acknowledge Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, um, for allowing this word to come out. Now, I hope you sincere uh, brothers and sisters is edified by this word tonight. And the name of the lesson is going to be called STDs out of wetlock children and death comes with acts of adultery. Let me say it again, man. STDs, as known as sexual transmitted diseases, out of wetlock children and death comes with acts of adultery. So by the title of this word, you know, the subject matter we're going to speak about is adultery. Okay. And um, a lot of people in the world are ignorant to the detriment of um, acts of adultery. As a matter of fact, uh, in the eyes of the world and according to the world standards, adultery is celebrated and often deemed righteous. Um, you see adultery being celebrated in uh, movies, reality shows, uh, in the music, um, you know, social media. All, there's a plethora of different outlets where um, acts of adultery is being celebrated and deemed righteous. But like I said, in the eyes of the world, but when it comes to the Bible, adultery is forbidden. You see? And so what I want to speak about tonight is the importance of um, marriage, the importance of adultery and the detriment, or, or should I say the dangers that come with this. Because in, in the world... They make it seem like adultery is a okay, and you have people like Trey Songs and a whole lot of others actually get off on sleeping with another man's woman. I've never understood since I've been in this biblical truth how a man could even uh, stoop to that level. I mean, it's gross ignorance, it's gross negligence, and um. You know, not only men, but women as well. You have married women that's uh, cheating on their husbands. And you have married men cheating on their wives. What you see on the screen is a beautiful example of when it comes to adultery. What you see is a so-called black man and a woman. And you see a white man. Now, even though she's hugged up with the black man... Her husband is the guy, the white man. And this man caught his wife cheating with the black man. You see? So this would be a beautiful example of an adulterer and adulteress. You see that? Now, do the, do, do the wife and the, the, the adulterer, do they look happy? Do they look like they're having a great time? They were before the husband came home and caught them. You see? So in this world, I'm going to show you, man, that don't let the world geek, get you geeked up in thinking that adultery is cool. Because it's not. It's a, it's a very dangerous game that you're playing with. And if you are someone that's, that's committing adultery, you might want to uh, refrain from that, man, because... It's not going to be a good ending for you. Now, when it comes to the understanding of adultery, a simple way of defining adultery is the violation of the marriage bed. That's about the clearest, plainest definition of adultery. It's a, it's a violation of the marriage bed. Not only is it a violation of the marriage bed, but it's also a defilement of the marriage bed. And guess what else happens, man? Um, you produce Ill uh, illegitimate children when you commit adultery, too. It's a massive amount of that activity 
that's going on today. There's a lot of illegitimate children that are walking around today. Unaware. You see? Now, one of the one of the Ten Commandments, it told us, man, in Exodus 20 and 14, it told us right out the gate, it says, thou shall not commit adultery. You see that? So it was forbidden, man. You didn't commit adultery. Man and wife become one flesh. You see? When you step outside of that, it becomes two flesh. And marriage was never designed or designated to be two flesh. You see? And Hebrews 13 and 4, is, it, it speaks about honoring marriage and remaining faithful. Not defile your marriage bed, because what's going to happen? The Lord, who we know as Yahweh, he's going to judge the adulterers. Yeah, it's cold-blooded, man. What's the name of the lesson, man? STDs out of wetlock children and death comes with acts of adultery, according to the Bible, man. According to the Bible. Now, as we get into this word, there's four dangers that comes with the act of adultery. And I'm going to break all four of these dangers down. The first danger or the first detriment that's that you're going to suffer, especially if you're a man committing adultery, the first danger you're going to come across, you're going to be you're going to be a borderline homosexual. Now, you might say, how can a man that commits adultery be a borderline homosexual? Well, this is how. You have to understand that when a man when a man sleeps with another man's wife, he's in that man's bed. He's in another man's bed sleeping with his woman. Number one, that that wife is that man's skeet bucket, which means that his body fluids is 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 permanently in her. His vibration is permanently in her. So when you have sex with that woman, you inherit her husband vibration, you inherit his body fluids and germs or whatnot, his DNA and whatnot. So if you're going to mix vibrations and body fluids with a man, you might as well lay down and have sex with him. Because that you, you're a borderline homosexual. When you think about it, why would you want to put your rod in a, in, in a place where another man squirts in? That's just, that's, that's sickening, man. That's why, like I said, it's borderline homosexual because you are already in another man's bed and then you sticking your rod in that man's skeet bucket, which is his wife. And soon when you have sex with her, all you doing is backdooring that man. So that makes you a borderline homosexual. And then Leviticus 20 and 13 is a death sentence for homosexuals. So the first danger of committing the act of adultery is you are prone to be borderline homosexual, man. The second danger is obviously STDs, herpes, HPV, HIV, etc. You see? Now, it told you in Hebrews 13 and 4, do not defile the marriage bed. When you defile the marriage bed, Defile the marriage bed, corruption, is pollution, foul, dirty, unclean. And guess what comes with that? STDs, herpes, HPV. Those things are pollutions. Those things are foul and dirty. Those things are unclean. And that's exactly what you get, okay, when you commit the act of adultery. The third danger, the, the third thing you got to, that you sub you you subject to, is creating illegitimate children out of wedlock, which would be considered bastards. You see, and in Deuteronomy twenty three and two, a bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, man. You see that. So you have a Ill illegitimate child, man. This is cold blooded, man. I, I can't make this up. 
And then the fourth danger that you're subject to when you commit the act of adultery is you get a death sentence. According to Leviticus 20 and 10, it tells you the adulterer and adulteress both shall die. So the black man on the screen and this white woman who he who's a married woman, both of them shall be put to death. You see that? So in the eyes of the world, they don't break this down to you and let you know the detriment of committing adultery. All they tell you about is, hey, man, it's a cool thing to do. It's not a cool thing to do. It's the worst thing to do. It's one of the worst spiritual crimes you can commit, man. What's the name of the lesson, man? STDs, out of wetlock children, and death comes with the act of adultery, according to the Bible, man. And hey, if you're a single brother and you hook up with a sister and she just so happened to be married, deviate, man. Abort mission, man. Abort mission. Now, you got some women that are lie and won't tell you they married. They'll tell you they single. Well, guess what? Get to know them long enough and you'll find out if that's true or not. But if you hook up with her right away, you ain't going to be able to know that. So give them the 90 day rule. Deal with them for 90 days and you'll find out exactly if she's married or not. Then you won't be subject to being a borderline homosexual. Then you won't be subject to catching STDs. You won't be subject to creating illeg uh, illegitimate children. And most importantly, you won't be subject to a death sentence. Yeah, man, it's a cold, cold-blooded game out here, man. Ain't nobody being honest. Ain't nobody telling the truth, man. Again, what's the name of the word? STDs out of wetlock children and death comes with the acts of adultery, man. So if you know like I know, man, hey, you don't, you don't want to indulge in that, man. Once again, when you understand that you could be considered a borderline homosexual, once you understand that you can get STDs, some you can't get rid of, um, illegitimate children and death, say yo, when you line all that up, do you think it's worth it? Is it worth it to commit adultery? Of course not. You'll be a fool to still commit adultery after all those potential dangers that come with that. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters, man, really, really, really was edified by this word tonight, man. We give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, for allowing this word to come out. And um, like I always say, amen, keep Yahweh. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, first in everything that you do. And stay prayered up, man, at all times. Shalom.